Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to Carlisle Clan Budgeting. I am the lovely Pat, and I am going to be your hostess as we're walking through stuffing week two of August with our virtual envelopes and our cash envelopes. Now, we are going to be talking about stuffing and saving and budgeting during the course of this little mini video. And if you're interested in that, please stay with us. Now, make sure you hit subscribe and click that little bell so that whenever we're, um, I upload a new video, you'll be notified right away and can see the new stuff coming at you. So let's talk about um, week two. Week two for me, as you can see by my glorious green here, is a payday, which means life is a little easier and we can breathe a little bit. Now, with this particular um, paycheck, we are going to be virtually stuffing our rent, which we divide in half, and that will be $537. Our tithe is $190, and my Amazon um, that needs to be paid on August 9th is going to be $1513. So for my virtual envelopes this week, we're going to be setting aside that I will be paying electronically or virtually $742.13. Now, for my cash stuffing and what we pulled the cash out for, we'll be setting aside $100 for food, $40 for gas, $20 for my emergency fund, $20 for my debt snowball, and we started today, we're gonna start with our savings challenge of saving $20 towards our Christmas. Now, that will get built up and we will start to put more money into that the closer the holiday comes, but we want it to start now so that we can start doing that little savings challenge. So for my cash stuffing this week, I'm gonna be putting in $200 into my cash envelopes. So, and that's what I have here, $200. Let's have some fun and count. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200. So we're going to go ahead and get our envelopes already stuffed. So for our food budget, remember we rolled over $4 from last week. Oops, wrong way. So we already have $4 in here that we're going to be able to apply to our food budget should it be needed this week. Um, and today is August 5th. And we're gonna add $100 to our budget. So that means we'll have 104 available to us. So here's our $4 and 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 going right into the food budget. Now with our gas and our cash for our gas, we're gonna be, we said we were gonna put in another $40. So seven, five, we're gonna put in 40. So that'll put us in at $41 for gas, for our gas budget this week. So 20, 40, and then the $1 we rolled over from last week. So that'll go in here. I'm so excited I could bring my gas budget down. How about you guys where you're living? How's your gas budget going where you are? Are you are able to decrease it like we've been able to do for our month of August? Or is it still so high you could cry most of the days? All right. Our next envelope that we're going to be adding some money to is our emergency fund. Now, remember, we already have a $1,000 saved for our emergency fund, and that's what this beautiful orange placard tells us, that I have $1,000 in our high interest yield savings account. I don't keep this kind of cash in our house. Times are crazy, and we don't want anybody, you know, we don't want anything to happen to it, so we keep it in our savings account. And then I already have $100, uh, 20 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, and we're going to add 20 more to it today. I got to fix this because it's making me nuts. 30, 40, 50, 60, there we go, better. Now everything is organized. 
So with our $20 that I'm adding today, that brings our emergency fund to $1,120. So remember, we could have easily stopped when we got to that $1,000 and had it in our savings account, but things are getting more expensive. And so I, my husband and I decided that we would continue putting in $20 um, a week while we can and when we can because things are getting more expensive. And so we just wanted to make sure we had enough in here if and if we needed it, it would be available in there. So that's where we are with our emergency fund. And now for Christmas, ta-da, Christmas in July. So we're gonna start today I'm sorry, I'm saying July, I mean actually August, eight, five. We're gonna put $20 in. And so we have our first $20 in our Christmas fund. And then our debt snowball. Remember with our debt snowball, we are working towards having, um, saving $20 every week to put towards our debt snowball. And then at the end of the month, we take it out and we use it and we apply it to our debt snowball. If you haven't seen any of those videos, please go back and click on them and see how we're doing our debt snowball with the ones that we have. So eight, five, 20 more dollars. And so now we're up to $40 in our debt snowball. And there we go. Whoop. Forgot to put the $20 in. <laughs> so now we're up to $40 in our debt snowball. And that pretty much takes care of our cash stuffing. Now, I like to see where we are each week. So on the back of my printed Excel sheet, uh, cause I'm the nerd of the house, I did add, we had, remember in week one rollover, we had $210.28 left over from week one. And then my paycheck went in of $892. So at this point, we have $1,102.28 that we'll use towards week two as we're moving forward. And that's where we are today, guys. Well, I'm so glad you could join us today. Remember, hit subscribe if you haven't hit subscribe yet. And I'm looking forward to walking through August with you all each week. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.